Hey, how's everyone doing today? Doing well, thank you for asking. Body beat down here, Michael. On this Thursday morning, fresh off the school bus, I'm a little late getting home. Had to take my bus in to uh, get serviced. It's its service date. And uh, so I gotta do that and then find a extra bus to bring home. And uh, so anyway, I'm home, ready to go. I've been up since three. I've been awake since three and I've been out of bed since almost four. So I went ahead and got my spin done early this morning. So that's done. All I gotta do is get my walk done. And I'm ready to eat. Today is one of those rare days where I'm actually really hungry. So ready to eat. So yesterday I shot a walk and talk. I think it was yesterday. But it was a very troubling negative kind of a video you know i'm very open about things on my channel everything personal life and all kind of stuff just how i am i don't think we should be really uh quiet and silent and so you know held back on things because things can help other people if you talk about them and other people might can help you when they hear you talk about things so you never know so i'm pretty open in my life uh, but I decided not to upload it yesterday and it was just you know I didn't want everybody to get down just because you know I'm talking about something super serious so I didn't upload that one yesterday but we did upload a workout video yesterday which I had a pretty good workout and if you watched it, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Now, of course, uh, I didn't go real heavy yesterday. I stuck at 225 as far as my benching and squats go. I didn't go any higher. I just had a nice, simple, easy, not easy, but I didn't kill myself with the weight workout. Uh, kept the I kept the, uh, kept the reps nice and uh, strict on the bench and the squats took my time wanted to have a just a really good solid workout and I think I did so uh, today I'll be doing deadlifts again uh, we'll be going from the floor today uh, I don't have any real plans as to the weight that I'm going to go to. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to go up weight. Uh, my new PR is uh, 470. That's my new PR. I don't know if I'm ready to go to 475. I may need a maybe another training session or two. Well, with the elevated deads, uh, we'll see. Uh, I also mentioned, I might have mentioned on one of my videos or one of my walk and talks, I don't remember, that, you know, the old saying, when one door closes, another one opens. And I'm kind of using that analogy uh, with my workout here. Uh, you know, I got the problem with my shoulder and all that, so. And uh, also had the problem with my calluses on my left hand, ripping open and bleeding and killing me and couldn't hardly deadlift anymore, so. But, you know, with my shoulder problems, you know, all my pressing movements are taking a little bit of a hit. So, and even if I think that I can do the weight, it's... It's also a mental uh, block as well because you never know what your shoulder might do. You know, if your arm gives out, you're hurt. So anyway, my pressing movements are kind of 
taken a hit. But, you know, I can work on my deadlifts. I feel like there's hope. A little bit more room to gain on my deadlifts, even though I kind of, you know, was done with them a while back. Uh, after after randomly just using that powder that you're seeing me use, that Gold Bond medicated powder, uh, it's breathed new life into my deadlifts. Uh, my hands don't hurt at all. Zero. None. Now, I do get a little pain, like in the tendon here, maybe, like where it's stretching, you got that much weight. I do got some little pain there, I noticed, uh, this week. But sometimes that just has to do with how you're holding the bar or just maybe the amount of weight or whatever, but that's nothing too bad. I can, I can get past that for a rep. But when you got calluses that are ripping open and bleeding and killing you, you don't get past that. That, that holds you back. That's like the equivalent of my shoulder, but for my hand. So, but anyway, I feel like I've got a little new life kicked back into my deadlifts, which I'm really happy with. Uh, you know, I still have goals that I want to reach with my bench. You know, my my goal for my flat bench is 400 pound uh, bench press. Will it happen? I don't know. But the chances are fixing to be better than what they've been. Why is that? Well, as you know, we're moving. And if you've kept up with what's going on, you know that uh, we're moving in together with my kids. We're all getting a house together. So, I'm going to have someone there quite often to spot me. I just need to teach my kid how to spot. <sighs> that was a crazy experience. Anyway. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I will have spotters more often now. And I have a feeling that if my shoulder will just relax a little bit, things might progress. So, all this time that I've been working on this for the last almost three years, good two and a half or so, I don't know anymore, I don't lost count, lost track. But if you recall, I sing the praises of doing uh, incline, uh, benching. I sing the praises of doing other movements and things to help uh, with having a strong bench. Uh, shoulder presses, doing heavy shoulder presses. So heavy inclines and heavy shoulder presses. I've pretty much been, you know, singing praises that you got to do those things. You need to build up those shoulders and the incline presses and shoulder presses do that. I also sing the praises of you need to build up those triceps to have a strong press. And that's whether you're bench pressing or shoulder pressing. Triceps are very important. Now, what this is leading to is, well, I can't really do heavy inclines anymore. I can't do heavy shoulder presses anymore because of my shoulder. So, I'm having to pretty much rely just on building strength, size, endurance, whatever, you know, all the, all the combinations you need to be able to build a stronger flat bench so I can get that 400 pound bench and I'm just looking to do it one time and one time only and then move on I'm not looking to do it for the next 10 years 
I want to get one rep, 400 pound, and done. That's it. So, you know, I, that's one reason why I've switched over to doing this new routine that I do where I'm doing chest two times a week. And uh, you'll notice it's pretty much flat benching both times. Uh, I have snuck in like some dumbbells once or twice and I have snuck in maybe an incline once or twice, but that's it. Uh, it's pretty much all flat. So, you know, you got to kind of work around stuff and uh, I think, uh, I think, I think I'm going to do better. I'm going to have more option to do better uh, once we get this move done and uh, completed and uh, I get back on track from the move. Uh, now, as far as the move goes, I may give myself a day or two completely off extra because of the move and you know how you're go, go, go the whole time you're moving and plus you're lifting and, and moving and doing all that stuff. So I may give myself an extra couple of days. So we get the truck. We get the U-Haul on October 4th. And uh, we'll probably have it until uh, four, five, six, maybe the seventh. I don't know. We're keeping it a couple days uh, just so we don't have to rush. So, and plus I take off Saturdays and Sundays now anyway. So I may be, I may be getting a few days to kind of, you know, take off, I guess, which in the grand scheme of things, you know, is probably a, a good thing. You know, uh, doing all the moving and all that lifting and the stress and the mental stress and and probably not getting to eat enough and probably not going to be able to drink enough and all that stuff during those few days, you know. Probably need to kind of lay off maybe anyways just to be safe. And uh, hopefully that following Monday... I'll get the pick right up and uh, start up again and, you know, see what happens. So, anyway, just a little update on some things, a little insight into some things and uh, kind of how I'm thinking with my lifts and some different stuff and all that good stuff. And uh, a giant mosquito, I think, is attacking me. So I'll probably pass out dead here in a minute if he sucks all my blood out. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate you taking part in my channel. I've tried to share a few videos out there, a few channels. Uh, uh, you can check on my community page. Uh, it's hard to share everybody's. I'm, I'm trying to remember to do that. and It's hard to remember to do stuff like that sometimes because you're stuck kind of you know on your routine and what you're doing and you know you got your own stuff to do and so i try to remember sometimes to do that because uh, there's a couple of you out there that are nice enough to mention me so anyway if i inspire you just a little bit to work out or to do anything i don't care what you do as long as it's decent positive anything decent and positive uh maybe like share subscribe comment all the good stuff to the body beat down that's me michael your incredible host with the most eh, not the most maybe but anyway Whew. get up get out get rad do it to it we'll see you next time on the body beat down Pieces, yo. Pieces. Like Reese's.
Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!